Hi, I'm Derek Hilton, and my channel is all about photographing and filming wildlife. Now, what have I got in store for you today? Let's take a look. Hi, and welcome to my office. It's a beautiful, sunny day. We're almost out of winter. It's so close to spring now, I can smell it. Today's subject is all about photographing birds and taking it to the next level. And how can we do that? Well, let me show you a few photographs first of a yellow robin. Now, these photographs I took yesterday. Now, they're more snapshots. They're not really showing you the true character of the bird. How can we show the bird's character? Now, you won't hear of any other photographer talking about the way I go about doing uh, photographing birds. Now, I'm a bit of a scientist, a bit of an amateur scientist. I love studying animals, birds, even human behavior. And that is my little secret to getting beautiful shots of birds that show the bird's true character. Now I'll study, watch the animal, the bird, how they interact with each other and how they go about building a nest, bringing up their young and interacting with other animals. That gives me a deeper understanding of the bird. I've studied their behaviour and their interaction with their own kind and other birds and other animals. I get to see all those different poses that they do and one that will represent the bird's true character. Now here's a shot that I took yesterday as well. Now this best represents that bird you can see the way it holds its posture. It really shows you the true character of the bird. How it holds itself. The angle that it's on. It's just, it's just all about action. Tension in the body. Ready to strike insect that it's looking at on the ground. Waiting for it to get into the right position. And just like a kookaburra, it can hold itself perfectly still for quite some time. Body like a coiled up spring, ready to pounce on the insect at a moment's notice. So that's how we can improve on our photography, taking it to the next level by studying the bird, the animal, even a human being, and getting something spectacular rather than just and a shot that, more of a snapshot that hundreds of people have taken of that same bird. There you go. That's how I go about photographing birds and animals. Yeah, because I know the yellow robin's behaviour, if you scratch around like this old log here, I've broken it all up. That'll get their attention pretty quickly. And I've got one coming down now. I've put a grub on the thing there, so I'm ready. Oh, it's fallen, here we go. No, didn't get in the right position for me. But I've set up a stage so that I can get those sort of shots. I'm waiting for this shot for an hour now. I've got pre-focused on my subject in the front. Your low robin's gonna come out and I'm going to try and get an action shot with its wings out. Wait for it. Because I'm pre-focused, I only have to touch the shutter button and it gets within about a metre of the insect. Well, the grub. Here we go. It's getting into a better position to come down. It might be good for me too, a front on shot. Wait for it to fly now. Tied the grub on so it can't pick it up. 
what keeps tension of the body. Ooh, not very good. It's on the string so I can't get it off. So I'll try to make it, see if I can get it do it again. This is fun. Not for them, they're getting very annoyed with me. But try and time it, try and get it right. They're both ready to spring. They're just getting unsure about me now. I'm slow again with it taking off. Far too slow. He was sitting there waiting for me. He knows I'm going to get up <laughs> to get it. The other one is going to try Oh, we've got it. Ah, oh, oh, bloody cucumber is coming to get it. Wow, I'm, I've started something. That's why it flew off. The bloody cucumber is coming in. Well, I've started something, haven't I? Didn't see him there. Mm. No, that's why they went. Cookaburra scared them off. That would be awesome if I can get this. I'm doubting it very much. Let the camera roll. Uh, Yellow Robin's getting really pissed off there with the cookaburra around. This is something I didn't expect. I'll turn the camera off for a minute because this could take a little while. Well, I wasn't expecting that kookaburra to come flying down. They end up having a bit of a standoff. I've taken quite a few shots trying to get them with their wings out flying in. Very hard to time it. But now I have three here three together all trying to get this grub because I understand the bird I knew how to draw them in with wombats and lie birds they scratch the ground the yellow robin follows them around so I know that they do that for me scratching the ground here and creating a bit of a feeding frenzy I was able to get the yellow robin to come down with a bit more temptation with those grubs on there and that big one. So there you go. Bit of fun. Well have a look what I've woken up to this morning. A composition that I took about five weeks ago with foggy conditions. It's back again but I've got the added bonus of a bit of frost. But there's one more element that I'd like to have in my scene and that's a yellow robin. So that fern there is my main part of the composition to draw your eye in. But I want the yellow robin to land on there. Uh, it's not around at the minute. And they usually are, there's a pair here. I'm just trying to get their attention by knocking around. Like that. The dead, an old dead tree there. It's, uh, yeah, it's rotten away this log. Uh, just wait for the yellow robin to turn up because I know it so well this will work and I know how to ma manipulate them so on the base of where of the fern where I want it to go to sorry just watching out for the yellow robin there, I'm going to put some grubs and they'll attract them in onto that scene and I think the yellow robin's at the back there so I better talk quick so they'll land on there and add that extra bit to my composition. Uh, I've, got the, I've got the 7D Mark II on a timer, two second timer, so as soon as I see it start to fly to it, I've got to hit that button quick and hopefully it'll sit there long enough to take HDR, so high dynamic range shot. So it's got to take three shots. Normally, a yellow robin will give you a little bit of time. So hopefully it all works out for me. Right, I'll get in on it. Typical of nature, the yellow robin has not turned up at all today and the conditions aren't good for the shot anymore. The fog's broken up a lot. Uh, sun's coming up higher, so yeah, it's gone. The moment has gone. I don't know where these yellow robins are today. They just haven't turned up. They've been here every time I come. Even yesterday morning they were here but not today. I 
I think they've done it just to piss me off. But typical of nature, don't always get what you hope for. But I'll keep coming back every foggy morning and see whether I can get that shot. Utilising what I've learnt from the behaviour of a yellow robin to help me out. We'll get it eventually. Right, but it, it's been a beautiful morning. You can hear the wood ducks. Love is in the air. Spring is on its way. Even the ravens have been fighting for territory. So it's just been awesome being out here, even though it's freezing cold. I just love coming out in the reserve there and listening to nature. That's enough of me for today. If you'd like to subscribe, click on the subscription button down below and you'll get notification whenever I do anything else. And if you'd like to go and have a look at my channel and look at all the things I've been doing over the years, click on my icon down below. Oh, there's over 60 different videos to choose from, so go and have a browse. There must be something there of interest to you. Now just remember, if you don't do, you don't get. So get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife. See ya. Did you see that? That is what I wanted earlier this morning. Here you go. Bloody got me again. Too quick for me. Grabbed it before and I wasn't ready. Now what are you doing? <laughs>